the Resident Evil 4 remake is a masterclass in pacing and set pieces. Every moment is purposeful, resulting in an exhilarating and relentless experience. The game features a diverse range of areas that seamlessly flow together, accompanied by a memorable set of boss battles and gradually increasing levels of horror. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus wept! This ensures that the player is never left wondering how much is left to play. The gunplay is tight, responsive, and most importantly, overall, the product is incredibly fun. But that was it. Minato guy! Minato guy! Sorry. Oh, that felt so good! Exploration rewards upgrades and the upgrades feel necessary to overcome the overwhelming odds, driving the player to level up their favourite weapons. Parry mechanics add a new level of interactivity to the combat while the story remains classically Resident Evil with its trademark cheese and charm. It's the mother of the chainsaw man from the demo. Sorry, didn't realise it was yours. I am flattered. But I'm a one lady type of guy. <laughs> I'm a one lady type of guy! <laughs> the re-engine does an outstanding job, for the most part, and replay values off the charts thanks to the numerous extras to unlock. The Resident Evil 4 Remake is not only one of the greatest action games of all time, but it also offers incredible value for money. I'm somebody who rarely plays through games immediately after completing them, and as soon as I finished Resident Evil 4, I reloaded my save, started NG+, and got straight into it. The only reason I stopped was to write this review, to be honest. I've never played the original, but trust me, believe the hype, Resident Evil 4, the remake, is sensational stuff. While the game is visually and technically impressive, it didn't quite have the same wow factor for me as games such as Callisto Protocol or Dead Space, which may be due to the re-engine, or maybe it's just the remake itself. I did feel the same about Village, so it could just be my personal preference, particularly since those other games I mentioned are mostly indoor environments. But where the game truly shines is in its sound design. The gun sounds are incredibly realistic and satisfying, with headshots and exploding corpses delivering sickeningly realistic audio. The scuttling of facehuggers is distinctive and, quite frankly, disgusting and memorable, and the breathing of a minotaur can give you a heads up of their presence lurking around the corner. Overall, the sound design is truly fantastic. Talking of breathing, however, here are five weird and wonderful things in the Resident Evil 4 remake. Ashley. Yes, Ashley, you'll hear that name a lot. Uh, Ashley needs a doctor, not because she's got some weird creepy crawly plague inside her, but because she can't walk two meters without sounding like me when I've tried to run up a hill. Ashley, are you okay? Holy fuck, man, hit the gym or something. What's wrong with you? Zer is in Resident Evil 4 Remake. You heard it here first. What better reason to buy this game than to see your long lost friend Zer? Especially if you've quit Destiny and missed the guy. He also sells weapons in this world, so at least he's consistent. Extras. There is a lot of extras. This game has ridiculous value for money. Whether it's in your first completion or multiple completions, there's side quests with Zer, I mean the vendor, which do eventually have amazing rewards. There's extra cosmetics to get from completing the game, completing in game challenges. There's extra modes. I mean, honestly. It's crazy. There is so much value here. There's a free Mercenaries mod coming out soon. Sensational value for money. You're not only getting one of the greatest action games ever made, you are getting insane bang for your buck. Yeah, I think I really like scavenging. I love breaking every bin in The Last of Us and getting the toilet paper out and making band-aids out of it. And I love kicking two barrels with one kick in Resident Evil. If I never do a review again, you'll find me in the local rubbish tip opening up old cans of beans. There's bear traps in Resident Evil bear traps. The, the, there's a lot of bloody traps. Oh my f- oh. oh my fucking days. Are you serious? Arriba eso. Oh my god! What? The story in Resident Evil 4 is 
I mean, it's Resident Evil. Who am I kidding? What do you expect? There's an evil corporation and stroke cult making a virus that's making people go crazy. You need to stop it because you've got to go save the president's daughter who's also injected with this virus. The main thing you need to know about the story is that it's basically created these upgraded zombie 2.0s who are very fast paced and clever and can put up ladders and flank you. But what that actually does is it adds urgency to every gunfight. It makes you always have to look behind you, check your corners and check your angles. She hasn't exactly got the shoes on for this, has she? Oh, Leon, you hero. Oh, what a throb. An argument can be made that the movement and combat feels stiff. However, I think people are quick to forget that the whole reason Resident Evil always felt scary was due to that slowness, that kind of almost meandering nature to your main character. The way you had to stop and shoot. Now that isn't the case in Resident Evil 4, but that was always the case in Resident Evil games. You stopped and you had to aim and shoot and that added to the tension that the zombies closed the distance. But yes, the story, it's full of your usual quota of cheesy one-liners, corny cutscenes and telegraphed subplots. Ashley keeps getting kidnapped and then killed sometimes then kidnapped and then killed again uh, okay. that's right for the rest of the game you just hide in there see ya you got the gist of it but thankfully she's not actually with you for a lot of the game early on it seems like she's gonna be stuck by your side for the whole bloody thing but thankfully she isn't which was not only great for my sanity but great for my ears The standout and elite feature of Resident Evil 4, however, is its exceptional set pieces and masterful pacing. Each area boasts numerous memorable moments and every detail has been carefully considered to avoid any sense of repetition or familiarity. Enemy placement, to object interactions, to the building you're in, every aspect is meticulously crafted to deliver a blockbuster experience that honestly, it would, it would make Michael Bay proud. Add to this a variety of little touches and secrets. I'll give you one example, in the demo level, if you've played the devil you'll know that the enemies only disappear after a bell starts ringing now you can actually get to the roof of one of the buildings and hit the bell as soon as you get into the area thus ending the fight early it's a small touch but it just shows how much attention they've put into every aspect of the game and it's these things that really make you smile breakups in gameplay are also welcome and never half baked boat fights cart rides or giant wrecking balls all have a place in this wacky action movie of a game what does that mean <laughs> uh. Ah! <laughs> so for those expecting or fearful that the remake is a straight up horror game I'm here to tell you it's not really horror I'd put it more in the realms of action thriller Resident Evil 4 was the first Resident Evil to move away from the classic horror format the previous games had made their own While Re4 isn't traditional horror it's without a doubt full of tension especially in later levels one thing that they do do really well here is the slightly increasing and ever-changing levels or types of horror they hit the player with. Going from huge numbers of enemies to insta-kill chainsaw people to submerged enemies to camouflage enemies to enemies that hop in and out of vents. It's these subtle changes on a level-by-level -level basis that keeps you on the edge of the seat and keeps you gripping that controller really hard. Or maybe that was just me. These changes from action sequences to more thriller or horror-based sections, it's so well done, it's seamless and it's it just begs you to push through. Oh, headshot. Leon Edward, the guy. You see that? Headshot. Bang. Dead. I'm from the trenches. I'm from the trenches. The snob in me wants to say that a game which is all out action can't be one of the greatest games of all time. It just can't. But the reality is, after spending almost 30 hours in the dark and wonderful world of Resident Evil 4, exploring every nook and cranny and smacking every barrel I possibly could with my mighty right foot, I can tell you with certainty and with no doubt at all in my mind, the Resident Evil 4 remake at the very least belongs in the conversation. It's a game that was so far ahead of its time, you can still see its influences on the last 20 years of video games as you play through. As you hit every set piece, just think, wow, this, this game came out in 2005, and then realise how many games have borrowed from Resident Evil 4 remake as you play through. It's pretty mind boggling when you think about it like that. So yeah. It was so far ahead of its time that 20 years later, 
it's still in the conversation for one of the greatest video games ever made. Let me know what you thought of the remake. Let me know if you did ever, ever play the original. What do you think of the original? What do you think about it? How does it compare to this? I know there's been changes. I never played the original, so I didn't want to do a piece where I compared them because it would be dishonest of me. I never played the original. I just took this on face value as what it was, but also just thinking of it in the framing of it being, you know, a game from a long time ago. I had an amazing time. I mean, this year has just been so good for video games. That was special. I'm literally going to load up my new game plus again and just crack on with it now. So peace out, everyone. Take care. Uh, leave me a like, subscribe, man. It helps me out a lot. Take care. Everybody.